All right, we just played another round and uh, Germany and Russia's turn. And as you can see, Germany took out Moscow. So um, that's more or less game at this point. Um, we playing with the resistance rule we have. Um, um, the remaining Russian infantry took out a few territories and got a couple units. I put in Tunguska and uh, Amur, but uh, Outside of that, Russia's done for. I also had a tank go through and liberate a few Chinese territories. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much uh, in the bag for the Axis uh, at this point. Russia's done. America's struggling to get a foothold in Europe, even with uh, Republican Spain. Um, sizable force off the coast of Rome. Um, now the Axis units are coming down through the Caucasus into Northwest Persia and got some allied units here, but it's not gonna stop that onslaught there. I doubt it. Um, British over here, uh, making headway into Yunnan. Yunan. Uh, he backed out of that uh, uh, that stalemate we were having. So he's congregating Malaya and French Indochina there. Um, and then also continuing the stranglehold on Anzac. Sending forces to um, the Philippines. He did an ultimate dick move to me and sent a whole bunch of destroyers over here in 14 and 9, nine as well and invaded the Aleutian Islands. <laughs> I was uh, hoping he was not going to do something like that, but so I'm going to send my units up there. A um, little bit of a discrepancy as to whether or not they can cross from the Aleutian Islands to Alaska, like the Suez Canal or not, or if it's an, if it really is an island. Uh, I know that Sired Blood, Sired Blood just clarified with his new bloodbath rules that uh, they can cross from one to the other, um, but not sure what the rule is with that, with, that, with that out of box. So had that been the case, I probably wouldn't have bought this many tanks. I also brought one tank back from Hawaii. But anyway, so I knocked out two of his uh, destroyers, lost one uh, sub in the process in 14, and I also sub in 9 as well. Um, he already <clears throat> told me, spoiler alert, he's going to go for Caroline Islands. Big surprise there. Um, let's see, what else? Um... Yeah, that's basically about it at this point. I uh, got some French units up there in northern Spain. French unit back on the transport. He's gonna land in Sardinia. Get another French resistance infantry. Um, so let's take that out. America had Normandy Bordeaux for a hot minute and he came in and took it with his air force over here. And uh, all that jazz. Yeah, so uh, that is... Uh, Pretty much the, the end of our game. Here's our casualties, minus a bunch of chips. So I already took out some chips, but um, that is our, our game, uh, pretty much. We may actually just, since we have it set up, we may actually just play another round or two, uh, just to kind of, just for shits and giggles, just to see how stuff uh, pans out. But um, but for the most part, uh, I do feel we do feel that this is a rather successful play test. Um, we're very happy with the French resistance rule. I actually found France to be a lot of fun to play, believe it or not, with having the French resistance rule uh, that we have, as well as the French unit pool from the Vichy France flip. Uh, as you can see, I never took out the units in 93. I was always hoping that I could get to Paris and flip those guys back, but alas, I just couldn't do it. And I think a lot of that was just from the overall J1 attack that's, that hosed me. Uh, me losing uh, my initial aircraft carriers in Carol off the co coast of Caroline Islands. Uh, that debacle. And uh, losing uh, England's navy off the coast of Norway up here. That was also a mistake of mine. I should not have taken Norway just for the sake of doing that. Um, because that cost England a lot of uh, power in the Atlantic. I'm only now starting to build it back up just because of resources needing, needing, needing to be elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I got a factory in Iraq, I got a factory in Egypt, maybe I can push this off, or at least push the Japanese units off a little bit, but I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to cause some chaos here in China. Um, Russia's helping me out with that. Let's see. Oh, I totally forgot about North Korea. Um, I'll talk to him and see if he'll give me a gimme of uh, North Korea. All right. Uh, well, uh, take it easy, YouTube. Uh, I'll check in tomorrow if we uh, decide to play again. Otherwise, this is otherwise this is probably the end of the game. <laughs> so take it easy and. Uh, don't do what I did and roll the dice better. <laughs>